this is the intro to my vlog. Basically, we are going on vacation. And I asked you guys if you wanted me to vlog the process and a lot of you guys said yes. So I'm gonna try. I'm not 100% sure if I like really want to yet. It's basically gonna be like situational. So like if I'm doing something and I feel like vlogging, then I will. But if I'm doing something and I don't feel like picking up the camera, then I'm not going to, you know? I always focus more on like being in the moment and creating memories versus capturing them i don't know that's just how i am like when i go to concerts and stuff i'd much rather just be in the moment living in it than to record it to look on later but i do want to record some stuff for memories too as well as just vlogging in general for you guys so basically we are on our way to pick up our rental car we could have taken our car but we decided not to we just decided to take a rental car because it's better like yeah it's more expensive to rent than to just put gas in your own car but in the long run it makes me feel safer i'm not putting miles on my car if something were to happen it's a rental car you know and if anything goes wrong they fix it i have insurance on it so i don't know i just feel like it's better to just rent a car if you're going to be doing a lot of driving which we are so let me tell you where we're going we're going a lot of different places um basically we're starting out in indiana where we live then we're going to Jacksonville, North Carolina. So we're gonna be driving through Ohio. Then we're gonna be driving through like West Virginia, Virginia. Then we're going to North Carolina. Then we're gonna be there for a day and a half to two days. Then we'll be driving down to Savannah, Georgia, where my mom lives, and we're gonna be with her on the 4th of July. Today is July 2nd. You guys obviously won't be seeing this until like August, but today is actually it's it's fourth of july weekend so today's friday july 2nd and so then we're gonna go to savannah georgia we're gonna spend sunday night which is fourth of july with my mom in savannah we're gonna probably watch fireworks get some dinner something like that and then we're gonna crash at her place it's around like five hours from jacksonville north carolina to savannah georgia so that's like the midway point to where our next destination is. So that's another reason we decided to stop there. Instead of trying to drive 10 hours, we just split it in half and we're gonna stop and see my mom. And then we're going to Lakeland, Florida. And we're gonna be there for a couple days. And I'm not sure if my mom's coming with us. I think she is going to meet us in Florida at some point. I really don't know like what the plan is. There really isn't a plan. It's kind of like we're just moseying on our way. We're just going wherever we wanna go and you know, going with the flow type thing so we're just kind of going with the flow we're gonna drive and then sleep and then drive and sleep it's not nothing set in stone so yeah so once we are finished with lakeland we're gonna go to tampa and we're gonna be there for like we're just gonna stop there and go on the river walk and stuff and then we're gonna go over to st pete area i would like to get like a really nice um what are they called like resort i would like to stay in a really nice resort for the rest of the week the first few stops aren't going to be so much of a vacation it's kind of like we're just stopping and then going it's like touristy whereas um like the rest of the week once we get into florida i would like to just chill for a little while so i'm aiming to be in lakeland monday morning and then stay there monday and then leave for st pete on tuesday but we'll see again it's just we're just playing it by ear seeing how things go and seeing how we feel if we want to stay somewhere longer we can but we basically have like nine or ten days to just kind of drive around and go wherever we want and do whatever we want so that's what we're doing we're on our way to pick up our rental car i chose a mid-size suv that's what i drive i drive a jeep grand cherokee so i decided i wanted something similar i always feel safer in like larger vehicles i don't know i just feel like they're safer and that's what i'm used to driving i'm also a tall ass bitch so i don't like to like get in and out of a car that are that's really like low to the ground it's not as comfortable so i chose a, a mid-size suv so we'll see what i get i don't know they compared it to a ford edge but obviously you don't get a ford edge it's just something similar so i'll show you guys the suv when we get there and we'll see what car we wind up getting and then we have to transfer all of our luggage into the rental car and then we will be on our way i'll see you guys when we pick up the car okay we got the vehicle and we got a 2020 what is this dodge dodge journey dodge journey so let me show you it's actually really fucking cool it is like white and it has black rims and like 
my dream vehicle is a white vehicle with black rims. What do you think, Dinky? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Aaron really likes it, so let me show you guys. And I thought it was so interesting. The plates say North Carolina, and literally, that's where we're going. We're literally going to North Carolina right now. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, so cool. So here it is. Super nice. Look at them black rims. Ooh, yeah, it's looking good. Cute. Let me show you the front here. Here's my car. We're leaving it here at Enterprise. Here's what it looks like. Looking good and spiffy. Let's check this shit out. Ooh. It has a full tank of gas, which is awesome. So we have to return it with a full tank of gas. But we have to go to the gas station still because I have to go to the bathroom and I need an energy drink. I've ha not had any caffeine today and it's six o'clock, so I gotta go get a monster and then we'll be on the way to North Carolina. We'll see how far we get tonight. I'm not sure how far we're gonna be able to go, but I'm gonna try to drive the whole way tonight. Aaron needs a nap. He thought he was only working half a day, but they made him work a whole day, so he's tired. So let's get in the car. We gotta get going. Here's the inside. Real noise. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the gas station and then we're gonna get on the road. And I don't know when I'm gonna pick up this next cause it's basically driving from here on out until tomorrow morning. So I'll probably vlog if we stop somewhere in the middle of the night. But right now it's six o'clock and we're ready to start the journey to Jacksonville, North Carolina. I'll see you guys whenever I see ya. So let me tell you bitches what is going on. It is 10.38 at night. Aaron slept the whole entire time we've been driving. I changed to my glasses because I can't really see well in contacts at nighttime. I can see better in my glasses, so I have glasses on now. But let me tell you the tea and what's going on. So Aaron woke up and I was like, could you like zoom out on the map so I can see where we are? Because I just we're somewhere in Ohio, 10.38 at night on a Friday night. So I'm like, can you zoom out on the map so I can see where we are? So I'm looking, I'm looking, and then I'm like, are we in West Virginia yet? We're like about to go into West Virginia. And then I was like, you know what? Aaron has always been like fascinated with this Mothman legend thing. If you don't know anything about it, look it up and do research. But like I watched a documentary a long time ago and he had mentioned before about Mothman and how he wanted to go to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is where this legend originated and there's like a huge conspiracy about it. It's like crazy if you look into it. So I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure Point Pleasant's in West Virginia. And so I looked on the map and we're literally going right through Point Pleasant. Like we have to go right through the town. So I was like, well, do you want to stop and like visit the Mothman statue? Cause I remember in a documentary, they had built like this statue in the middle of a small town of like, there's like 4,000 people that live there built this huge mothman statue and so i was like do you want to go stop and visit we're going through there anyway and aaron was like yes so he's really really excited and i am shitting my pants i am so scared we're about to see mothman the myth the legend i'm scared and i'm like trying to forget all the documentaries and stuff i watched years ago because i feel like shitting my pants so that's where we are we haven't stopped and gotten gas or done anything and we're only a little under half a tank. So I wasn't gonna stop for a while, but since we're gonna stop and see Mothman, if there's any gas stations open, we'll probably just wind up getting gas there. But I really don't wanna be in that town any longer than we have to. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. But literally, we're like less than 20 minutes away from the statue. I'm, I'm sorry. I know, sure. This will complete my life. Literally. Like I wanted to see corn, and I wanted to go to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I've already seen corn, and I'm about to go to Point Pleasant, so. I mean, I knew that you wanted to, but I didn't know it was like this serious of a thing. Yeah. Like, I, that's awesome that we just happen to be going through there. Like, that's just, so cool. I, I mean, cool for you. I'm fucking scared, but. So, we're gonna be there in like 15 minutes. So, I will show you guys Mothman the statue when we get there. Wish me luck, and let's hope we don't see Mothman. Let's hope we do. Hey. So I do want to tell you guys a little bit about Mothman and how this legend originated. In November of 1966, gravediggers working in a cemetery in West Virginia spotted a strange man-like figure in the trees above their heads. 
Only a few days later, two young couples from Point Pleasant reported being chased by a large creature with 10-foot wings whose eyes glowed red while driving near a former military munitions site outside of town. Sightings in that area continued over the next year before tragedy struck that town. On December 15, 1967, a bridge collapsed in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. This bridge was known as the Silver Bridge and it connected Ohio to Virginia. There have been a few people who claim to see Mothman standing on top of the bridge a few weeks prior to its collapse and a lot of people believe that it was trying to warn people about the tragedy that was about to strike the small town. Here is what Silver Bridge looked like back in 1967 and it was built in 1928. Here is what it looks like after the collapse. You can see the bridge is no longer standing. Unfortunately, this bridge did collapse during rush hour traffic, which made this even worse and caused way more fatalities than if it would have collapsed in the middle of the night. 46 people were killed on this bridge collapse. They later found out why the bridge collapsed and what caused it and it literally came down to one component of this large bridge failing. The piece that broke is called an I-bar and they do the job that modern day suspension cables do. The town has several different monuments and plaques paying respect to those who lost their lives. They also have an I-bar that is similar to the one that was used on the bridge and it basically just explains what happened and it shows you basically what the I-bar looks like so you have a good understanding of what went wrong and what the part was that broke. I did film a lot when I was in this town. We stopped there, it was like 11 something at night. This town was incredibly creepy. The reason I'm doing this voiceover and inserting images is because my camera footage is gone. Like I recorded, I have pictures of me recording, I have pictures that we took, but randomly my camera stopped working while recording and all my footage is gone. So I decided to find some footage and pictures online and still show you what it looked like. This is the downtown area. It was very, very creepy and quiet. This town is extremely small and it just gives you a very, very somber, weird vibe. I don't know if it's because I went so late at night, but here is the Mothman statue. It's in the center of town. They have a little garden surrounding it. It's very ominous at nighttime, let me tell you. I'm sure it's not that creepy during the day, but at nighttime, it's kind of scary. These next two pictures are pictures that I obviously took. This one's of Aaron. He wanted to get a picture in front of it, and I'm glad that he did, because then I actually have some footage for you guys. This picture and then this one right here, you can see me vlogging in the background. I don't know what happened. The footage is gone and I don't have it anymore, but I did vlog a lot for you guys. While we were there looking at the statue, I had noticed the architecture of one of the buildings directly diagonal from the statue and I realized it was a hotel and I got the weirdest vibes from this hotel. It was so so strange and i was like this hotel is so creepy and i got close-up shots which i obviously don't have anymore but i did manage to find some footage online of this hotel and what it looks like at nighttime i also wanted to include some footage during the daytime of what mothman looks like now later finding out when i was doing research on this so i could do a voiceover and tell you guys about Point Pleasant, West Virginia, I learned that this hotel is extremely haunted and there has been several um, paranormal investigations there. I had no idea anything about this at the time of visiting, but later upon research, I figured this out. I also learned that there's a live camera constantly rolling on Mothman. If you literally Google Mothman live cam, there is a 24 seven camera that is constantly recording. So we were on there at some point. I wish I could get the footage from that and insert it here. And when we went there, someone had put French fries at the base of the statue as like an offering. It was very, very strange, but someone wanted to give the man some French fries and I don't blame them. They're pretty good. I also want to include that the sightings of Mothman stopped after the bridge collapse. Nobody had seen him. That was until 2016. A man driving home from work snapped this picture of what you can see it looks like Mothman flying through the sky. He didn't know much about the legend of West Virginia. He was there working. He had just moved there and he didn't know anything about this. And these pictures have been proven not to be doctored, at least from the research I've done. So very interesting that he was spotted in 2016. And I think there's been a couple spottings since then also. 
That is all for this voiceover portion. Now it's going to pick up footage of me right in the center of downtown Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I get a little bit of footage of the museum and some other things, so enjoy the rest of this video. How much of that? I don't know when it stopped recording, but at some point it stopped recording. Here's the museum. It's obviously not open right now, but pretty cool. Hashtag believe. <laughs> this freaks me out a little bit. Dude, this town is so freaking dead. It's quiet. But it's watching fireworks. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Damn it. Thank you so much. I love this. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? <laughs> it's a small town. That's what it is. That's why it feels like that. Any small this town like feels. Oh, there's a person on a bike. Let's hurry and get in the car, please. Hurry. Okay, we're back on the road. I'm just gonna have him film the bridges on the way out and then I'll see you guys at our next stop.